Welcome back to Disturbed Reality. When you think of Mexican drug cartels, it's hard not to think of Los Etas, the group whose creation in the late 1990s and its subsequent rise throughout the first decade of the 2000s set the scene as to what we see today in Mexico. They were pioneers in the Mexican drug game and ushered in the era of paramilitarized drug cartels. The original Zeta members were recruited straight out of the Mexican armed forces by the Gulf Cartel in the late 1990s to serve as bodyguards for cartel boss Osiel Cardenas. Due to their military expertise however, they would go on to be much more than bodyguards. They would morph into the armed wing of the Gulf Cartel and went to war with various rival gangs on behalf of the Golfos most notably in the mid-2000s where Zeta gunmen halted the advance of the Sinaloa cartel in the city of Nuevo Laredo in Tamaulipas State, a Gulf cartel stronghold. The Zetas defeating Cartel de Sinaloa was testament to the arsenal and men at their disposal and went to show the effectiveness of having a sophisticated armed wing. As the Zetas continued to make noise and have success, other groups such as the Sinaloa Cartel and the Juarez Cartel would then also begin to apply paramilitarized elements to their organizations, in turn increasing the bloodshed in Mexico. Aside from the paramilitarization that the Zetas introduced to organized criminal factions in Mexico, the Zetas also popularized the tactic of gruesome propaganda videos which usually involved horrific executions, all disseminated for the purpose of spreading fear among those who dared go against them. Although the Zetas never started the trend of filmed execution videos, they certainly popularized the tactic, a tactic in which we still see used to this very day by the likes of CJNG as well as a host of other cartels. Today, we will take a journey into the depths of depravity and explore the true barbarism of the infamous Los Etas. Let's explore some of the worst videos ever released by Los Etas. I will also include videos filmed by Los Etas Vieja Escuela, the old school Zetas, who are a splinter faction of the original Zeta group due to the fact they still use the Zeta name. Executions recorded by the other main Zeta splinter faction, Cartel del Noreste, or the Northeast Cartel, will not be included. But nevertheless, let's take a glimpse at the true horror of Los Etas. Number 1. Are you falling asleep, Morena? The video in question is, in my opinion, a cartel video for whatever reason goes under the radar, despite its sheer depravity. The victim in the video is believed to be a former Zeta, though he is accused of being a traitor. Allegedly, the Sicario behind the execution was a man simply named El Pantera, the Panther. The victim allegedly switched his alliances and began working for a criminal only identified as El Nepo. I've yet to ascertain who El Nepo actually is or what criminal organization he worked or works for, though some rumors online seemed to indicate he may have worked for a Gulf Cartel splinter group. Also, some sources claim that the victim allegedly set up a close friend of his while working for the Zetas. Several sources online seem to suggest that the video was recorded somewhere in the state of Tamaulipas, a well-known Los Zeta stomping ground, and it was released in the year 2018. By the time the video was released, the Zetas at this point were no longer the powerful cartel that they once were between 2010 and 2015 due to their five year war with their former partners Cartel del Golfo. The war decimated both cartels and both lost their standing in the drug game. Essentially, both ended up being replaced by Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion. Given the time frame that the video was released in, the clip cannot be attributed to the original Los Etas, as post-2015 they were no longer a unified cartel due to the fact that several high-ranking leaders were killed or captured by authorities. This led to the Zetas organization fracturing and splitting off into new criminal groups, most notably Cartel del Noreste and Los Etas Vieja Escuela, the old school Zetas. I find it extremely likely that the gruesome murder in question was committed by the old school Zetas. But regardless, the video itself is just shy of 3 minutes, at 2 minutes and 43 seconds in length. 
The video itself is shot in a forest, though during daytime, which ensures that you get a very good view of the brutality. The worst aspect of this video, brutality aside, is actually the dialogue, some of which I have managed to get translated. As you play the clip, you see the victim sitting on the ground, only dressed in his underwear. His arms have been tied behind his back, rendering him unable to fight back against his attackers. Two Sicarios can be seen standing beside the victim, one pulling his hair, holding the victim's head up so that he is facing the camera. The person filming accuses the man of being a traitor and addresses him as La Morena. One of the hitmen standing beside the victim is carrying a machete, and after about 10 seconds or so, he quickly moves behind the captive and places the blade against his throat. However, the person filming seems to tell the Sicario that the execution needs to be slower. As a result, the Sicario then walks around the victim before lining the machete blade up against the man's leg, just above the ankle. He then proceeds to hack away at the man's leg, attempting to chop off his foot. The cameraman can be heard mocking the victim as he winds away in pain. The machete is incredibly sharp and seems to cut through the bone in only two to three strikes. After cutting through the bone, the man's foot is held on only by flesh and skin. The Sicario pulls the man's foot and tries to tear it off with his bare hands, but the skin and flesh is too strong. The victim states it hurts and the cameraman responds mockingly, how do you think he felt? I'm assuming this statement refers to the person who the victim allegedly set up. The Sicario then severs the foot by cutting through the remaining flesh and skin with the machete. The Sicario then cuts off the victim's left foot, which he severs in only two strikes as the victim begs for mercy. He seems to ask the Sicarios to kill him, only for the person filming to respond, Don't worry, we'll kill you, but we will kill you my way. You're going to be in pieces. This is where the clip gets even harder to watch. The victim is forced on his side and the Sicario then grabs one of his arms, both of which are still tied together behind his back. He lifts the arms so that he can place the machete blade under the victim's right arm. The Sicario lines it up and begins soaring back and forth, attempting to sever the arm. This draws out truly horrific screams from the captive, which makes the Sicarios laugh and mock him. He's forced to say Arriba Los Zetas while he is being dismembered alive. The person filming is an absolute sicko. He engages in a conversation with the victim as he is being dismembered, and the tone of his voice is extremely creepy. He's talking to the victim like he's talking to a child. It's bizarre and extremely unsettling. The captive begs, please, por favor, but the cameraman just mocks him. The Sicario then begins hacking away at the top of the victim's shoulder as he seemingly couldn't dismember the arm under the armpit. You hear the blade make cracking sounds as it hits bone. The Sicario eventually manages to cut in between the shoulder blade and the arm. As he hacks away, each time the victim lets out horrifying screams of absolute agony. Eventually, the arm is severed. The victim is then forced to sit back up. He's a bloody mess, and I have no idea how he is still conscious at this point, considering the amount of blood he has lost and the pain he's endured. As he sits up, several Sicarios just laugh at him. He then begins to get visibly more groggy. You see him sway as he is sitting up, before eventually collapsing to the ground. The Sicario then begins to hack away at the remaining arm, and the noises that the victim makes at this point are extremely hard to describe. His screams no longer have the same high pitch that they once had. They are now more animalistic, more akin to growls more so than screams. You can also audibly hear the victim drift in and out of consciousness. You hear him snore before then waking up, letting out pain-induced growls before then snoring again, and this continues as his remaining arm is being severed. The person filming then mockingly asks, are you already falling asleep, Morena? Wake up, stop snoring. The Sicarios laugh. The video ends as the Sicario is hacking away at the remaining arm. When it comes to the topic of most brutal cartel videos, I find it very odd that more do not mention this video. 
It's extremely bloody, and the nature of the execution is incredibly cruel. What sticks out to me is the dialogue, and the mocking tone of the person filming. This leads me to believe that this case was more personal than most cartel videos we see. The dialogue seemed to indicate that the Sicarios knew Morena prior to his execution, and knew the man who he allegedly set up. The video is not for the faint of heart. Do not watch it. Number 2. The Dismemberment of Multiple Women This video in question is without a doubt the most infamous clip ever recorded by Los Etas. The video in question was released in the summer of 2014, which was at the height of the war between the Gulf Cartel and the Zetas. Around this time, such gruesome murder videos were released on an almost weekly basis by both cartels, each trying to outdo each other in terms of brutality and depravity. The video in question has much speculation around it due to the background of the victims, all four of whom were female. One of the victims, the woman in the pink top, was supposedly a Sicario for the Gulf Cartel by the name of La Guerra Loca, which roughly translates to the Crazy Witch. La Guerra Loca was a female Sicario who was well respected within the Gulf Cartel hierarchy, and she was known for her ruthless nature and sadistic tendencies, so much so that she made herself a priority target for Los Etas. She allegedly features in another shocking video where members of the Gulf Cartel execute a member of Los Etas. The video shows the beheading of the victim in question, as well as the flaying of the severed head. The skin mask is held up to the camera in the gruesome video. Another one of the victims was alleged to have been a Halcon, which is essentially an entry level position within a Mexican drug cartel, a Halcon being a lookout. Another one of the victims was alleged to have had a stepson who worked for the Gulf Cartel. How the women ended up in the situation that they found themselves in is still unknown, but their fate was sealed the minute Vezeta Sicarios got their hands on them. The clip would go on to become one of the most recognisable and infamous cartel videos. The video in question is 5 minutes and 19 seconds in length. As you play the video, you see an ominous scene that shows the four female victims kneeling on the ground with their hands tied behind their backs. Three other women have also had their tops stripped, exposing them in an act of humiliation. The video is recorded in a field in the daylight hours. They are kneeling in front of several heavily armed members of Los Etas. They are carrying a variety of ARs and assault rifles, and they are all wearing black and have their faces concealed, hiding their identity. A scrawny looking Sicario takes charge of the interrogation. He has a high pitched voice, though he is intense as he asks each of the victims questions. In one instance, he slaps one of the women who doesn't answer the questions quickly enough. In another instance, another Sicario hits one of the women with a barrel of his gun as she tries to answer the questions the Sicario is asking. The interrogation lasts exactly 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Not much of note is really revealed in the interrogation, and the victim, suspected of being La Guerra Loca, doesn't mention any details that support the theory that she is the infamous Gulf Cartel Sicario. Once the interrogation is done, the women are then kicked and pushed to the ground. One then begins to cry as she realises her time is up. The women are then beheaded and dismembered in a synchronised manner. All four are executed at the same time. The woman furthest on the left of the image has her throat cut with a hunting knife. The woman next to her is instantly killed with an axe blow to the back of the neck. The woman furthest on the right, suspected to be La Guerra Loca, has her throat cut with a machete, before then being left to bleed out, and the woman next to her has her carterid artery severed by the same Sicario. Once all the women are dead, multiple Sicarios then hack away at their heads, using knives, machetes and axes until all four women are beheaded. It's incredibly bloody. The severed heads are then all lined up next to each other. Each of the corpses is then hacked to pieces by the Sicarios, some of which can be heard laughing while they commit the barbaric acts. As each limb is severed, they are then chucked into a pile that steadily gets bigger and bigger as the women are hacked up. The clip is extremely gruesome, and at the time of its release, 
shocked the world, and it was even covered by mainstream publications. The video touches on the topic of women involved in Mexican drug cartels, and at the time of the clip's release, some, with their heads still stuck in the sand, believed that there were some kind of old school standards within Mexican organized crime. In reality, by 2014, women were no longer seen as out of bounds, and they hadn't been for a number of years. This sick video perfectly encapsulates that reality. Number 3. To live and die a Sicario. Much like the first clip mentioned in this video, this piece of media, in my opinion, is a cartel video that has gone under the radar despite its sheer brutality. The video itself was recorded in the Ciudad Mante region of Tamaulipas in the year 2017, and the savage act was perpetrated by the old school Zetas, and the victim belonged to the Northeast Cartel, Cartel del Noreste. The video is exactly 2 minutes and 36 seconds in length. As you play the video, you are met with the sight of a captive, who is sitting on the ground with his hands tied behind his back, and he has had his clothes stripped. One of his ankles is also bleeding severely. Standing behind the victim are three members of the old school Zetas. They are all dressed in camo combat fatigue, with their faces concealed, and they are all armed with assault rifles. The video has been recorded in daylight hours in a wooded area. The first 30 seconds or so is the interrogation segment. The Sicarios ask the victim various questions, and the captive claims to be a member of Cartel del Noreste. The victim states that he came to the Ciudad Mante region, along with three other Sicarios, in his words, to heat up the plaza. Once the interrogation segment is over, one of the Sicarios who is holding a machete then walks in front of the victim, before pulling his legs so that they are outstretched. He lifts the machete, he's about to strike the victim's legs, but the captive quickly pulls his legs back. The Sicario then grabs one of the victim's legs, holds onto it, and uses his other hand to hack away just above the man's foot with the machete. This causes the victim to scream uncontrollably. The video then takes a brief jump cut. The screams have now got even worse. One of the Sicarios repeatedly hits the captive in the face with the barrel of his gun in an attempt to stop the screaming, but to no avail. The other Sicario, at the same time, is hacking away maniacally with the machete, attempting to cut the victim's feet off, which eventually he does. The victim repeats the phrase, no por favor, no por favor. He's begging for mercy while he is being hacked up alive. After the victim's feet have been cut off, the Sicario then moves to his hands, which have been cuffed behind his back. While the victim is laying on his back, the killer, with the machete, just hacks away at the hands while they are still cuffed. The victim continues to scream and plead, though you hear the energy and life slowly leaving his voice. Eventually, both hands are removed, still cuffed together. At this point, the victim has lost both feet and both hands, though he is still alive. While he is laying on his stomach, the Sicario then stands over the victim and pulls his head by the hair, exposing his throat. He then places the razor-sharp machete against the victim's throat, before he begins to slice back and forth into the man's windpipe. At this point, you see the horrific scene of the victim trying to use his now non-existent hands to protect his throat. If you have seen the infamous Funky Town video, the victim in that clip does something extremely similar. After having his throat cut, the victim appears to then pass out, and in only a few hacks, he is completely beheaded. A couple of Sicarios then hold the head up to the camera, before they rest it on the corpse. At the very end of the clip, the Sicarios then open fire on the body with their rifles, in a last act of violence. The video ends there. But anyway, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it, if you can enjoy this sort of content. In my opinion, the clips mentioned are among the worst ever released by Los Etas. The first and third clips in particular are incredibly bad. Take my advice and do not watch them. But anyway guys, thank you for the support, it is much appreciated. I know the schedule has been a little out of whack recently, I've had some personal commitments to attend to so apologies for that, but yeah. We'll now be going back to normal, so yeah, one video every week on a Friday. 
If you're new here, if you could smash subscribe, would be much appreciated. If you want to get in touch, the link to my Twitter is in the pinned comment. Drop me a DM if you would like. Also, the link to my Twitch is also there. But anyway, as always, stay safe and I'll catch you on the next one.